So, I've let my comfrey grow really big because I like the flowers and I enjoy them, so I've left it to much too longer. If you want to see the short version, have a look at Monty Don on Gardener's World. As you see, I'm topping this up, you know, rough and ready, fairly small, just so it will go in the bucket. And I'm going to fill this bucket absolutely completely. So if you come in closer to have a little look at that. I'll be pressing it right down. You see I'm putting stalks, leaves, everything in. Now this is comfrey bocking 14, which is a special stuff that you grow to be um, actually actually compostable. Yeah. It's a nice nice stuff that actually really gets its roots down very low and so it collects up lots of the minerals and that's why it's such a good feed for tomatoes and other plants, hanging baskets, things like that. But you may not have that growing in your garden. What you might have if you live in Norwich is this stuff called Alconet, which grows as a weed all over the place. I've got a bit of bindweed in there, but because we're going to drown it, it doesn't really matter. So you can also chop up Alconet because it's the same thing. It's got a very long taproot and it collects all the... So I've pushed this down really deep. You can imagine I've filled this all up. Once I've filled it all up completely full, I pour a bit of water on just to cover it. Like that. If I've got some kind of dustbin lid or a cover, I'll cover it because it can get quite smelly and I leave it completely alone for two weeks and in two weeks I have a lovely liquid feed which I can dilute one to ten and feed all my plants and hanging baskets with. Okay. So I've 